Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Monday, the 22nd day of May 2023. Open your mouth this morning and receive today's prayers and prophetic declarations. Today, I want to pray for divine assistance and help from heaven. Somebody is hearing me this morning on your bed. You are crying. God, when am I going to receive help? When am I going to receive that assistance? I am praying for you today. In the name that is above every other name, God will send you help and assistance today. In Jesus' name. I am praying for you, madam, that the help you need will come to you today without stress. Somebody somewhere will volunteer to help you today. In Jesus' name. Also, I want to pray that your voice shall be heard. There are people that have been crying that your major prayer point is that, God, let my voice be heard. I can see God giving you platform. I can see God in the Spirit giving you amplifier and microphone to make your voice to be heard. So everyone hearing me this morning, I am praying in the name of the Lord. God will cause your voice to be heard in Jesus' name. Whatever the devil may have done or might have done to mute your voice, I unmute it. Whatever pause in any way that the enemy have pressed the pause button that makes everything to be stagnant and not moving in your life, by the authority of the living God, I remove the pause button. Evil bricks that Satan have applied on your journey and movement, I remove the bricks now in Jesus' name. Your voice shall be heard. You will receive help and divine assistance and everything that has gone, that has scattered in your life, God will put them together in Jesus' name. I am praying for everyone today that all travelers, you are traveling today, the Lord will cause your journey to be prosperous. The Lord will make your journey to be beautiful. You will go in peace. You will return in peace. The devil will have no power or any charge to double cross you today in Jesus name. You are blessed. All of you that are praying for me, all of you that are supporting our of destiny, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will prosper you. God will increase you on every side in Jesus name. You are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout, Amen. I believe as I receive. Praise God. Beloved, today be Monday, the continuation of our Bible reading. We are starting the book of Galatians today. On Saturday, we finished the book of 2 Corinthians. We read chapters 11, 12, and 13. Today be Monday, we are starting Galatians, and we are going to be reading the first two chapters of the book of Galatians today, that is chapter 1 and chapter 2. Please read it meditatively. God will minister to you. Today, I want us to round up on the subject of pitfalls. Or let me bring up more one. We'll be rounding it up tomorrow or thereabout. Let me talk about the pitfall of boasting. Pitfall of boasting. On Friday, we spoke about the pitfall of pride. How you must avoid it. We have spoken about the pitfall of the love of money, the pitfall of opposite sex, the pitfall of praise singers, the pitfall of fame, power, and position, and the pitfall of pride. This morning, I want us to look at another one, which is the pitfall of boasting. There are many people today that have fallen into that pit just boasting for nothing. You are boasting for what you cannot do. You are boasting for what you are not. You are boasting for who you are not. That is a pitfall. I see a lot of people today, especially the young folks, that are making empty boasting. And by the time the attack comes, they discover that they are nowhere to be found. I see somebody who is boasting of power. I remember the story of a man who was appointed to be a commissioner. He was appointed to be a commissioner, but before swearing him, he went somewhere. He went to a church for Thanksgiving to go and probably to make some promises here and there. Right there, without any connection with the Lord, he fell down and he died inside the church. Days later, a witch in the village began to confess that I thought he had power. When I saw him boasting, when I saw him talking in the church, I thought he had power. I just pushed him a little and he fell down. So why are you making boasting? What you cannot, what you don't have, the gift you don't have, you'll be boasting. The Bible says, 
He who boasts of gift that he does not have is like empty cloud, cloud that gather but without rain. Are you like that person? You are boasting, you are making noise, you are shouting here and there the gift you don't have, the money you don't have. Some people will borrow another person's car to village just to go and show off. That is empty boasting because you want people to feel that you have arrived. Some people will go and rent clothes. I see people today going to rent clothes, especially celebrities, that consider that as boasting. Why would why won't you just be who you are? So avoid the pitfall, avoid falling into the pitfall of boasting. Avoid it. It is avoidable. It is something that you can find your way out of it. I mean, it is something that you can avoid without falling into it. I put it to you this morning as God's servant. The Lord is laid it in my heart to deliver this message that there are pitfalls we can avoid in life. Somebody sent a message and said that in your life, you will not be tired, you will not be weary. You have just finished teaching us about don't create that mess. Now you are coming up with this powerful topic again, pitfalls to avoid in life. Yes, as God is giving the directive, we are just flowing in line. So avoid the pitfall of the love of money. Avoid the pitfall of opposite sex. Avoid the pitfall of praise singers. Avoid the pitfall of fame, power, and position. Avoid the pitfall of pride. They are delicately and strategically placed or set down by the devil for somebody who will not be careful. And by the time they fall into it, then their eyes will open. And lastly, avoid the pitfall. Avoid falling into the pitfall of boasting. Boasting is not part, the last time I checked, boasting is not part of the fruit or gift of the Spirit. Boasting is one of the satanic gifts given to men this end time to destroy them and to pull them down. Don't allow the devil to give you that gift. If he has given it to you, if you check your life today and you see that you always boast, even for nothing, I believe you can go back, you can go to God this morning and say, Lord, I'm sorry. I've been boasting for what I don't have. I've been boasting for who I am not. Please, I want you to talk to God this morning. He will have mercy on you. He will straighten up your life and you will start afresh. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. Even as we round up this subject this morning, pitfalls to avoid. I pray in the name of the Lord, you will not fall into the pitfalls. You will not fall into the pits that the devil have set for you, whether openly or secretly, whether knowingly or knowingly, I pray you will not fall therein. In Jesus' name, please broadcast this message. Tell it to people to avoid what the devil is offering them. May the Lord bless you today. Don't forget to read your Bible today. Very important to God. Galatians chapter 1 and chapter 2. God bless you. Have a fruitful Monday and a great week ahead. In Jesus' name. Amen.